Dale Weeb from the uh, Winkler Bible Camp joining us this morning to talk about uh, a drive through fundraiser, which is coming up next week, Tuesday. Tell us a little bit about the impact that these fundraisers have for the camp. Well, uh, there's a couple of things. We the, the big thing would be that we actually get to connect with so many people from the community. Uh, in the last couple of years, it's always been a challenge, but being able to just see a person quickly go by, hey, how are you doing? How's your family? Uh, you know, grandma, grandpa, and, and and again, this goes from 80 years old down to six or seven years yeah. old. Uh, so it's a large demographic with a large age spread. Connecting with the people would be the one thing. Uh, so that's just getting that that contact time. And then the other part would be just creating uh, a revenue stream so that we can keep operating camp and uh, and doing it well. And so when we do this well, when we have these events that go very well, I don't spend very I, I don't spend very much time at all having to go fundraise. Right. For, right. You know, we've got we need money. We need money. We need money. Well, we all need money. That's just <laughs> the reality. Everybody needs money and stuff needs to be purchased. But this takes a ton of pressure off that and it gets done in a bit, uh, healthy way. So the fundraising part of it, it impacts our camp because when you drive by your camp, our camp, you see that, you know, it's it looks good. It's in good shape. Kids love it. The activities are safe. So this this speaks to us to freely go and continue doing a good job keeping our camp running. And uh, like uh, I would almost suggest too that when you do have these types of events where people are coming to you to essentially give you money for mm -hmm. food, right? Like they get to see where their money yeah. is going to, which is a huge thing, yeah. especially with fundraisers, instead of just blinding, tossing out money, right? Absolutely. There's a huge portion of uh, giving that has to become tangible. Yeah. If you don't care, it's just a name or if it's just a place on the internet somewhere in this world, it's not like it's a bad thing, but things like trust. Have, yeah. have shaped society and the lack of trust has clearly shaped society in regards to where they give and, and how much they give. So being able to see and speak to and shake hands with and talk to and for our donors to be able to physically see that, it becomes a really tangible piece that ends up adding a lot of trust. Now. Um, when it comes to supper, let's get into that. What are we What are we having for dinner? And uh, do we have to buy tickets for this? Do we have to register? No, this would be a normal meal where we're not doing drive-through lights. It's going to be sunlight this time, <laughs> <laughs> daylight saving sunlight. Yeah. And uh, we we'd expect a normal crowd, and it's just pick up your food and go. So no re no registration, no reserves reservations required. Uh, the meal starts at four thirty, ends at six. And it's going to be scalloped potatoes and farmer sausage and vegetables and some sort of a cream cheese something dessert. dessert. Oh, it'll be good. Happening next Tuesday, the 21st. Make sure to uh, get out there, support the camp, uh, support your bellies, which is always a nice thing. And uh, Dale, good luck for next Tuesday. Hey, thank you very much.